Hello friends, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss what how to run C++ programs inside Visual Studio 2022. Favorite browser, there you need to write Visual Studio. Then you can get HTTP Visual Studio Microsoft.com site. So click there. Then scroll down. Here you can see this is for Windows, Mac and this here Visual Studio code. The first two thing here, click on this download Visual Studio, then you can get three types of Visual Studio. So you can try any. So here I'm going to use the professional. So click on this professional. After that, thank you for downloading. Now you can see the file size of this exe file that uh, size is 1.6 mb click on this start download and now click on open so after that visual studio installer click continue then visual studio installer download and install so getting the visual studio installer ready okay so this all important steps you should follow now there is the new page that open so this is asp.net as your node python and now for c++ okay so now here you can see this is desktop development c++ if you want to do the mobile development with C++ you can select this option and cave development with C++ you can select this option ok so if you select this option there the size is 7.8 GB and this all that install and if you want to do the gaming with C++ you can select this option and this is for mobile development so here if you want then you can select so I will do it later this tools okay so I want to show you how to write C++ program for the desktop development okay you can select all three if you have extra GB net space extra GB of the net and speed faster then you can select three after that let's click on this install now you can see Visual Studio Professional here so you can see download and verifying the file size is now 1.99 GB so here it will take uh, some time to complete this download process ok so now I am going to pause the video you can see Visual Studio Professional 2022 so here download part that has completed installing so 94% completed and uh, I think uh, it will complete soon you can see Visual Studio Professional 2022 that has been completed after that click on this launch button launch button you need to click thereafter you can see this is the Visual Studio sign up sign in to Visual Studio or do it later not now and uh, thereafter you can select if you want C++ or dip that and after that let's uh, select to uh, anyone from this theme after click on this uh, start and now Visual Studio we are preparing for first use so after that uh, there is no any project uh, here so click on this create new project so you can from here you can select you can see only C++ are there so empty project C++ console and here C++ windows they all are C++ only there because I selected C++ ok so here there are different languages if you select C sharp there is nothing if you select C++ then you can get this all those things 
So let's uh, select here console application with C++. After that click on this next and create. So this is the project name, location and solution name. So this is now creating the project. So after that this is the uh, project here. This is all help to run. You need to use control M5 and this is for debug and this is all tips so this is not required so i'm going to delete this option and this also not required after doing this one let's uh, run local windows debugger you need to click this and after that then you can get the hello world here so you can see hello world display so this is now ready so first time that is using so that uh, it will take some times so now you can see hello world it's a display after that you can write any kind of c++ or code here so let's write here how are you Control S ne next uh, local Windows T worker. Click on that. Then you can get here. Hello world. How are you? So this is the most uh, simplest way we can uh, run C++ program inside Visual Studio 2022. And uh, now here is the source file. And this is the reference here. This is here. Or external dependencies okay so this is dot h that means header file or there math dot h and stdi and dot h so that's our header file that is inside there so inside external dependencies so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you